Hey, Leo Virgo. That song just went off by Drew Hill. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. Tell me if it ain't good enough for you, baby. Tell me anything is possible. I'm up in your mix and you put me on. Talk to me, he don't understand. Oh, you need to feel a gentle wind. You know it's not my style, I cannot lie. You know I like it certain on the freaky side. What you want, home, I can't ignore. Francisco and Drew Hill, what, man? What the fuck? Let's see where y'all energy at. Happy Mother's Day. Shout out to all the real dads. <laughs> Hell no. Flip mode. Me and that give a fuck. Allow her to bless your soul. I'm trying to tell you. There's so many men that don't give a fuck no more. Don't know what they're doing. Don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. Don't know where the fuck they're supposed to be. But men that stand up. Quick to do what's right. And say, fuck what's wrong. When nobody looking. A woman ain't going to be able to tell them shit. It's like a woman trying to you know, trap them. Anything that be, she going to be sorrowful. I don't know what she going to do because Jesus was, he quit it. He really just doing uh, all of them. All the Jesus of every kind. Correcting their uh, recordings, you know. All the people that are really full of shit. That fucking just use me. Use us. <sighs> Tell me what you looking for. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They ain't even gonna see it coming. Gonna be so weird. Drunk. Just trying to cope, honey. Blessing just gonna be flying up on their ass. They ain't gonna see it coming. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm telling you, women, dark women, and be doing that dumb shit, be on that dumb shit. They will a fortune about to be fucked up. They will to run dry. You never miss your water until that will run dry. you think about that Leo Virgo I just keep getting a star so many people need healing and love real shit not this weird shit man people weird as fuck bitch like check yourself if you no longer care about anything but your dumb ass self and your dumb ass uh, materialistic needs what good are you to just stand by the roadside. You know, that's like a motherfucker. I cannot stand no shit like this. Especially motherfuckers that see shit going on, see you fucked up, see, and they can help you in one way or another, even if it's helping you push the car. And they just sit amongst themselves and talk. And, man, what the fuck is you good for? Get the fuck up. Why is it called fellow man? Weird as fuck. That's all I know. And maybe thinking you weird. And you be like, motherfucker, ain't bitch. <laughs> I just see that you are. And it's disturbing. So won't you get the fuck out of here? Because you can't even show love. You're weak. That's true. They be surviving and sitting watching. They know the truth about themselves. Ain't nobody got to tell them shit. They look in the mirror every motherfucking day. It don't matter what they put on to try to cover up their stupid shit. They gonna see that motherfucker. 
Now that you see it, what the fuck you gonna do? Just keep looking at it. Keep looking at the truth of yourself. You gonna change anything, motherfucker? Cause change show strong, show ass. Okay. Tupac said the best thing is when you're able to look in the mirror and find your soul. You see that motherfucker. You don't see that motherfucker, bitch. You better get your work. Going to find that motherfucker. Singular energy. Women that usually hold it down and operate out of a masculine energy, even though you're not homosexual. You about to get somebody that's gonna help you out, honey. <laughs> Cause they don't see nothing out here. They don't see nothing out here. Me and I got some money, they don't see nothing out here. You know how they used to say, me and I got money? They be really shooting their own feet off because they say, me and I got money. It's hard for them to find somebody because they think everybody wants them for their money. And they usually like to get somebody that they don't have, you know, before they was building or before they got the money that they had. Shit, that shit ain't about to matter. Them motherfuckers ain't gonna give a fuck, bitch. Mm -mm, they ain't gonna care. They ain't got no choice. Ain't shit out here. No, nobody with no common sense. You got all that shit. And then realize, damn, I can't marry my house. You know? <laughs> like, hell no. Mm-hmm. This somebody penis. They sizing it up, seeing what kind of magic they gonna work on. I'm doing some ritual work now. Where the herb that dispels that shit gets rid of it. Oh, that shit. Be up under some type of illusion. Have all these motherfuckers so romantic soul ties. Not even not real. Just some hit it and quit it. You can't do that shit no more. <laughs> Anything fake or forcey. Anything residing. Residual, bitch. Residue, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Because I ain't never got the time. People can take this shit back. You hear me? Dig on the way. Them motherfuckers gonna be getting their dick back from me, honey. Dig, they be like, shit, this my dick. Yes, honey. Do the fuck with me. I don't know what the fuck you hanging around for. Because I'm celibate like a motherfucker. This is like people you slept with. Dicks floating around. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Just keeping it real. I'm trying to tell you. Men with money, I'm about to get women with money. Because they got vision. And they got sense in their motherfucking head. Common sense. They may not be rich with money, but they rich. You get a good woman, that's like printing your own money. For real. I guess you could say that's her form of witchcraft. To produce. You know? And say, you just keep on using me until you use me up. Yeah, that's just like a washing machine. You take care of me. Shh. Give me a minute. I gotta get some sleep because it's been a battle trying to hold on to a masculine energy when you ain't even masculine, kind of shit. Honey Bay. Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all Virgo side agreeing like a motherfucker. Talk about, yeah, cut it out. The truth of the matter is, I didn't love you. You didn't love me. I just remember what we used to do. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Y'all headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all gonna be a stay at home mom, soccer mom. <laughs> Talk about, oh, find something to do. When sports ain't your thing for real, you, it'd be a whole ass hour having to do sports. You just go ahead and take one for the team, be sitting there and don't even know what the fuck you're looking at. But you just love your baby, so you just be watching them run up and down. <laughs> <laughs> People don't be keeping it real enough for me. You know, for real. <laughs> Asking somebody at the game, now what was that? Why are they clapping? <laughs> oh, the 
girl, they so funny shit. I'm trying to tell you. God stepping in to some of y'all lives. To some of y'all women work like men. He like enough. <laughs> you don't have what it takes. You don't have strong enough shoulders to bear what you're bearing. It's just kind of crazy. For real. <laughs> Some miraculous shit going on. Um, start happening. It reminds me of the Christmas story. Or like a Christmas vibe. You know, they had a little sprinkly stuff. Look like fake glitter. Hey, Amen. <laughs> you know, if something just comes over people to do something charitable, you know, change your heart kind of situation with emperor energies. Towers and ten of swords. Towers and ten of swords. This is going to be some of y'all babies play football. I'm just saying. But tower, ten of swords. <laughs> you don't be sitting there at the football game. I'm ah, making tackle. Oh, I don't want my baby in no rough, rough football like that. This shit is Mmm, honey baby. See when they make a touchdown, you be feeling like this because you know what that means. You know what? I ain't got time for y'all to dangle y'all. I better go. Sun card. Y'all gonna get into some gangster shit this summer. Playing a whole bunch of people all that ain't never got the time. Then going knight of swords on people. Slowly but surely, okay? You can't help me, don't hurt me. Don't do that. Just go to fuck it. Thank you. I'm trying to tell you. If you can't love me, bitch, you can't love me right, go to fuck it on. Because ain't nobody got the energy nor the time. Y'all gonna be exuding that shit. Ain't gonna be no hot girl summer this motherfucking summer. It's gonna be motherfucking. It ain't real. Keep your penis in your hand, honey, because I ain't never got the time. Amen. Everybody runs on Duncan. Heartbreak. It ain't going to be heartbroken because you tell them to keep their dick in their hand. Like, what? It's yours, it's evil. It comes with a lot of shit. Trying to get rid of all attachments. Honey, baby. Soul ties. I tell you not. I'm not starting over with anybody. This is not a soup kitchen. Okay? My coochie is not a soup kitchen. This ain't coochie soup, baby. No. I ain't jump a liar either. You the liar. And I'm jumbo, but that's okay. Me ain't gonna be the same way. Night of Cups. Slow. Because they don't want no more children. They don't have time for this fucking conflictual. Hey, man, this motherfucking conflictual bullshit tied to motherfucking child support. I feel, man, when they be like, man, listen, I don't want, I, like, I'm sick of, I'm sick of it. Ain't never had a break from not being a father or either a deadbeat one. I can dig it. You got grown to breathe. You're like, man, fuck all that shit. But then, when well, you start doing other shit, that little service shit, then bitch assness kick in, this, this shit, motherfucker be having to work out their DNA. Because, motherfucker, you still did it like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I understand. But don't be keep on. Right. Being a tricky motherfucker. Like they being... You know, like they hurting you. They ain't hurting me, motherfucker. You hurting yourself. You ain't even hurting a child, for real. The child has to come into the understanding. Something wrong with that person. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. The person that's taking care of you, where you feel the love at, I wouldn't give a fuck where y'all sleeping at. I wouldn't give a fuck what's happening. If you up under your mother and in her arm most of the motherfucking time and she ain't let nobody hurt you or get to you or whatever, honey, baby, go where the love at. Love is love. It don't matter. But definitely don't go begging for nobody's motherfucking shit. I don't give a fuck who it is. We're not doing that. That is free. <laughs> Especially when God is giving it to you. You know? Like, come on. You're not about to finagle and flugazy me. 
No. Stop. Somebody is so surprised that y'all are, I don't know. Somebody, some people know more about your life than you do. Some people know that you got an inheritance. Hey, Amen. Some people know where you're going. Some people know your destiny. I mean, it's a whole fucked up because some of y'all don't even know. So this shit just gonna come upon you. You're like, wow, thanks, kind of shit. Well, wow, because you're so motherfucking tired. Exhausted, out of gas like a motherfucker, but got all the juice. Shit crazy. It's true. So people know y'all got something coming. And I ain't talking no tarot reader. It's about people to be in your motherfucking business more than you do. You know? For real. It came up. A whole bunch of dead bodies. You want to see a dead body? That mean a whole bunch of motherfucking insurance fraud being investigated right now. Motherfuckers going to have to bring it out their ass or get it out their purse. They gonna have to do something to to repay. That means insurance agents more than likely under investigation, and people that do that shit, can of shit for income, for real. You motherfuckers, the big payback ain't gonna work. It's an understatement. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. I'm trying to tell you, they gonna have to get it out their ass or get it out their purse. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you don't fuck around. Matter of time. Do the crime, do the time. I mean, if they ain't got it to give back, they're going to have to do time. And somehow y'all going to get some form of restitution. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Shit connected to child trafficking. All kind of shit. All kind of shit they're uncovering. I'm telling you. It's, gonna, it's healing season. Ain't nobody about to be... Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They go have to get it out their ass or get it out their purse. They can look at each other all day long. I mean, it's it's people working together in y'all business. Know y'all destiny. Know what's written for you. Know I like hot bitch. Where you been at? Up in my Akashic Records? Like, what the fuck? You don't even know a motherfucker they be going to get a terrible reading about you. Like, bitch, you can get some information about a stranger on general readings. Who the fuck goes to a terrible reader to ask questions to pay for somebody that don't even know you and you don't know them for real? That's why you're asking it. There's a difference if you meet somebody. You say, okay, what's up with this person? Just say, but motherfucker, you ain't never met. You just heard about kind of shit. Whether they ain't your family or not. Curiosity killed a cat. Ask the person. What the fuck you gotta go pay for it for? They ain't got time for these gold digging ass bitches. Most people that know how to get money, but just taking the stairs, ain't interested in your fucking money. They interested in coming up with something to create a revenue for themselves. Real talk, because motherfuckers understand how people treat you when they gotta give you something and you don't have it. Motherfuckers with sense in their head. We're hard workers. Just naturally. And been in situations where they had to depend on people to a degree. And that shit went sour as a motherfucker. People just got a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to that shit. I'm telling you. A motherfucker would rather sit, die, and starve. And some people have. Rather than ask a motherfucker for help. Because once you ask they ask for help, here they go. Amen. Telling lies. Conjuring up all kind of shit. Think you own something. I mean, strings on that shit. Yeah, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm so glad I'm the type of person that if... I don't even be remembering what I do for people. They be having to remind me. Sometimes God reminds me. And my ancestors remind me because I don't fucking remember. They be so busy. They gladly put some motherfucking wh or spell work on your ass, though. You know, and don't tell us so, candy shit. Like, right, ain't that? She just need to be sharp and shake it off. Why I gotta wear sunglasses? These two lights. The gloom and zoom. 
And if you ain't glowing and strong, that should be a drag, dude. Cause she just, you know. When I say it be a drag, it be a drag. I'm trying to tell you, all last ten ones. <laughs> I be having to cover up my eyes. I be sick as a motherfucker. Cause you don't see nothing but doom and gloom. If you see more than that, you are living in a delusion. What you see? On the best street, what do you feel? Low vibe drag shit. At the best party. That shit be feeling weird as fuck. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Everything's a rage. What the fuck? People just want to be in love and that's it. Where's my man? Where's my woman? You know what I'm saying? Talking to the government about this shit. You know, also real shit. This shit that matter. We are on earth. Garden of Eden. Hello, somebody. Let's get back to eating. Sitting on top of the world like a motherfucker. As above, so below. People with this competition, this weird shit that they've been doing is just not going to work anymore. Get it out your ass. Or get it out your purse. Because you got so much blood on your hands. These people, Leo Virgo. Y'all got some treacherous motherfuckers in y'all life. Or who have, who have, you know, been a part of your experience for a moment in time. I'm telling you. And y'all don't have a clue about some of this shit. This is like, what? I want to be channeling for nothing. But justice came up on Joe Biden energy. Mm -hmm. Want to rob y'all? Trying to see, I guess, seeing who they related to. Hey, cuz. Y'all remember that shit? Remember that shit? Tupac was giving y'all a game. Tupac is a fool. Have y'all ever watched um, Poetic Justice? He was showing y'all something. Remember they rolled past that cookout? The family reunion? They weren't Big Mo related to them. He was like, huh? He was like, hey. He was like, hey. He was like, what? He was like, Uncle Lucky. He's like, you remember? Hey, Uncle Lucky. He didn't know that man. <laughs> That's where the fuck this shit going. I'm telling you, that happiness car in the urban tarot. Y'all better watch y'all children at these motherfucking barbecues. Invasion of the body snatchers has been in full effect. Been. People acting erratic, doing all kind of wigged out shit for money. Wherever there are children at, you better watch their motherfucking ass. Your spotty sister's got to be your motherly instinct. All oh, that shit, turn that shit up to the maximum heat. Hey, man, I want to give a fuck how old they is. If they under the age of 25, had your children, had your wife. I'm trying to tell you. They come and form slowly but surely and trying to act like they not. These motherfuckers is wig out of their minds. Because they out of money. They out of games. You hear me? Motherfuckers just pull up at your family reunion that's outside. Talk about, hey, cuz. Y'all motherfuckers better cover down. Talk about, ain't no hey, cuz, who is you? Who's your people at? Who, who your mama? Who your daddy? What's that? What's the last name? Hello, somebody. Who the fuck is this? This ain't that damn time yet again, can this shit? Okay. How last tower situation? Come up on the page of Pentacles, this bitch going in her purse with blood on her motherfucking dress and shit, or up to her shoulder, she would say, Uncle Bobby. Kill I today, you will not kill I tomorrow, bitch. Take charge of your life, honey. I'm trying to tell you, whether you are a man or a woman. Take charge of your union. Take charge of your household. Take charge, take charge, take charge, honey. I'm trying to tell you. I'm military-minded. We military-minded soldiers. Trying to find Jehovah to help me. Somebody say yeah. Had to drop a seed praying I ain't cursed my baby. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the love? What's wrong with the world, mama? People acting like they ain't got no mama. He doing all that yelling. That's a grown man, y'all. Mind you. He going crazy. Oh, somebody. I don't know if he's talking to the air or if he got a Bluetooth in his ear, but he definitely pissed off his somebody. People are already, they're going to be killing each other. It's only so much people can take. And when you play the fuck out of stupid and play people like they stupid, you going to get what the fuck you get. God will get in people. And if you hear him, he just screaming all his frustrations in the rain. He grown. Mm-hmm. Just come up on the Eight of Swords card. Y'all gonna be at the cookout. Y'all better pay attention when y'all back in that little canopy thing where the table's at. Because motherfuckers gonna be acting dumb stupid. I'm trying to tell you. Acting like it's all love, like they're your family members. I'm telling y'all, if y'all got family reunions this summer, y'all motherfuckers better be on the lookout. I'm trying to tell you, don't start that crayon shit, that visual shit, they're putting that missing poster shit. I knew this shit was gonna happen in waves. I knew it. I mean, monkey see, monkey do ass, how to kill a mockingbird ass shit like this. If it didn't work for them, the motherfucker's coming up dead. And you gonna go try it anyway, kind of shit? Mm-hmm. The chariot, trying to kidnap children. I'm trying to tell y'all. People, what does it matter? I say under the age of 25. I know you consider no good in the gay community after the age of 18 as a man. They prefer them young. Hey, the ones, good job. In the reverse, they're going to have to slow up, I bet. But they will slow up to come to your motherfucking picnic and pick your motherfucking children right the fuck up. Talking about, hey, can of shit just in line for the food, next thing you know. You don't know how children be running all wild. At family reunions, at parks and stuff. It's true. These fake mothers. Or fake mothers that are mothers for real, but just fake. Don't give a fuck. It's all about the Benjamins. Terrible. No love. Just war. <sighs> Leo Virgo, this is a little bit too heavy for me right now. So, um... <laughs> I'm about to put this up. I'm going to get y'all some Oracle messages. To lighten this energy, this honey baby. Ain't gotta get some lavender going, honey, because I'd be feeling all oh, this, all oh, this shit. Some of y'all children question why were they ever born. Not in a suicidal way, but in a, I'm just tired, you know? Children are adept. They fresh from the galaxies if they under the age of 13, 14. They know what's up. Oh, this shit feels crazy, mom and dad. And they have sense in their head to think that way. So that's what I say. It's not suicidal. It's just observing that something is fucking wrong and they don't want to fucking be a part of it because it's a fucking drag. Can't have no fun, can't go nowhere. Motherfuckers always coming up with tricky ways, <laughs> calling it dark arts, ways to manipulate children. The children got to be on the defense, be all anxious on what, you know, you got to go to school. They got to really prepare for it because they have anxiety, don't know. Somebody gonna come shoot it up, or they gonna get kidnapped on the way off the bus, kind of shit. Man, children be thinking of all kind of shit. Today, I had went to go see my son play this little flag football, and it was a little boy. And it's sad because I'm so military minded. I have to know when I can't handle what so much, what I see so much. He couldn't have been no more than six, maybe five. 
but he was short. And there was another bigger boy on another team. And they was kind of like practicing, I guess, before they had to play or just there for the camaraderie of it to see. I don't know what the fuck, but they had on the uniform kind of shit. It was a dude that had, had him, but he looked weird and crazy as fuck too. So I wouldn't have never let my child go with him if he came with a bus or something. That bitch, he ain't never going. But people be need a break. I get it. However, he kept pulling him in the bathroom. I'm seeing this shit. Keep pulling him in the bathroom. I'm like, he's resisting. He don't want to go. Why the fuck do you keep on pulling him in the bathroom? That's, I mean, like bully shit. If you scared to go in there and you bigger than him, what the fuck can he do? He's smaller than you. You're supposed to be his protector. Kind of shit. At least, let's just say he was about two or three years older than him. Somehow he got him in his in that bathroom. I don't know how long they was in there. I just turned my head because instantly I want to go act on it, being military minded. But I I, I got to pay attention to my son. So I look back, and he's like getting reprimanded by the dude, the adult that has you know uh, responsible for them, and he's like. Look at you. You dirtying up your clothes or something, something, something. Just, uh, I don't even know. Talking like an old lady. Kind of shit. So I'm like, this is a total circus. So the little boy, I mean, his countenance had fallen. He was like this. And he's trying to get him to play football. Like, okay, now get back out there. And I was like, what if something just really did happen in this fucking bathroom? Motherfuckers is not aware. They're not in tune with shit, but what they want. And you just pushing him, and Spirit was just talking to me like, you know how many boys got molested just that way? Come out. Motherfucker don't know what just happened. Pushing them back on the football field, some motherfucker wear a basketball field. They showing every emotion that they have been violated. But the motherfucker that's responsible for him ain't picking up on it. Just want him back in the game. Kind of shit. I was looking at that shit. <laughs> if I had a sage bundle, that's all. I was crazy. Because I'd have been walking up and down that bitch with that bitch. Mm-mm. 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 You brought it here. Like my mother said, once you have a child, you don't have a life. If you ain't got no money, once you have a child, you no longer have a life. And if whatever life you live in, then that child just going to be a part of that lifestyle. So make it good, you know? Like Drew Barrymore, mother. <laughs> make it fun and keep a, and keep a motherfucking... Well, you, you got to get a chain. You hear me? You with me. Karma. Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Dharma. To me, all right. Dharma is unfolding. Anxiety. I'm trying to tell you. This is even school. You know? You know? This is even school. Having to go to school, you know? Mm-mm. Everything is action, action, action. Action, action, action. Go, go, go. Do, 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 do. Man, shut the fuck up. I can't go. You're bigger than me. You're a bully. That's what children be want to say to some adults. I can't go. I can't pay attention. I can't give it one more good try, motherfucker. White ego, ancestor spirit, connect to your lineage, a family wound, or pattern can be healed now. You know, I just can't. You won't even listen to your children and say, okay. Your my son tell me mommy at school, I can't. Okay, go back to sleep. I live with the kid though. I wouldn't care if it took him two, three days to say, okay, you ready, you ready to go. I did it all the time. They can't tell me. Indecision. I don't know what the fuck this is about, but it says, okay, this is the back of the card. That's for you guys. Take a mental health day on your next off day. Let your children skip school. Make it a family thing for healing. See, I just talk about that. I practice what I preach. I really do. Indecision isn't the message. This is the message because this is what I was talking about. Just confirming it sometimes. You know, also made me really look into that. He was like, 
Children have their own biological functioning. They have their own time clocks. When they're ready to get up, they're ready to get up. If they're resistant and they're whiny and all of that, they're not. They're still tired. Their body still needs to get rest. Leave them alone. But if everything is off to school this time, do this, do that. Like, God damn. Don't you see? It's no fucking way. If my child was looking like this, I would be yelling at him to get up, get up, get up. And I found myself getting into that program until I had to make a quick change. Once you know better, you better start doing better and come up out of that motherfucking conditioning. <laughs> this shit weird. But they'll say you're not a good parent. Bitch, you don't have... Like, shut up. Mm -hmm. Just shut up. So say a spirit. Just shut up. Psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. As a mother and a father, you really have to. You're always sovereign if you do what the fuck is right. And you ain't asking nobody for nothing. And you take your um, you take your vitamins, can and shit. But I'm just saying, you are sovereign. Where motherfucker ain't got to watch you. They got to watch bitches that do all kind of shit for money. You know, just secret squirrel, agents of Satan kind of shit. Always creating. All kind of weird ass scenarios for men, for real, to say I have to figure it out when they why they walk away because they no longer getting what the fuck is nourishing their fucking depleted ass soul that they can't even motherfucking find. They just addicted to pleasure, pleasure principle ass bitches. This is worldwide, and the storm is raging and warning on their motherfucking ass. Use discernment this summer. Don't be so quick, and y'all third eyes open. Keep it that way. Work with the energy of Archangel Metatron. To keep that bitch popping, popping. You hear me? To be able to see her through the matrix. Weird ass envy. Ass environment. Envy. It's full of envy. The Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Mm-hmm. Spirit is about to take action in y'all lives. It really is. I'm trying to tell you. The way y'all think, everything, like a stress relief, you know, just seeing things differently where you're not so hard on yourself, you know, because you going against what the fuck you feel is right, trying to, you know, follow the status quo or follow the rules or don't want to end up, you know, with somebody calling family child services on you because you receive, you know, some help from the government, all this shit. I'm not about to go against my nature to appease you. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Let shit flow naturally. Then you wouldn't have to worry about not getting a paycheck per child when it comes to public schooling. It's just all too demanding because everybody wants a job. You gonna have a job, motherfucker? If my child come, my child can't be homeschooled. I do know that. That's the fuck part. I knew that from his birth chart before he was born. People be in your business. I made up my mind when I saw my son's birth chart. I was like, because I had his birth date. He was a day late, so I did. He was supposed to come on October 3rd, but he came on October 4th. So I did a birth chart for the first, the second, no, the second, the third, and the fourth, the day before the birthday and the day after. So I knew he was going to be a piece of work, and I knew his energy was too like this to homeschool. My idea of homeschooling was just like Jada did it. Just do what I do all day. If I go pump gas, you're going to pump gas with me to learn how to pump gas. If I go to the bank, you're going to the bank with me to show you how to open up a bank account, how to work your bank account, how to work your money. Or to see, you know, me going in here and putting money in here. Okay. Now I'm going over here to, well, I'm going to wash the clothes. Now you can see how to wash the clothes. So it's more like home economics, mixed with everyday life, mixed with, I was going to tutor. If I'm saying if it came down to him having to be homeschooled, I had that mapped out too have a tutor as far as reading and stuff like that because I would have just paid for that. That's not something I want to do. I taught myself how to read. I, I, I'm i over. I don't want to sit there like that. I don't have the patience. I'm a horse energy for real. So you got to know yourself, know your child, but I know my child is more public sector. More, he loves being around people. He loves having friends. He loves making people happy and laugh and all that. So he needs that type of environment. I'm aware. However, during COVID, bitch, you had to put on your mama glasses for real. Took it for, let me look into this shit. Okay, no, I think we just gonna do remote still. Yeah, he ready to see his little friend Ray Ray, but uh, 
It's some bullshit going on every day, day around these bitch. Being a parent, you learn to make the proper adjustments for the safety of your child. It doesn't matter what they want at some point. Like my mother told me, who's the parent, him or you? Me. And I had to keep reminding myself of that because sometimes children can be intimidated, especially when they may be older than you, wiser than you, or more intellectual than you, or more highly spiritual than you. You be like, hold up. All right, y'all. I pray this helps somebody. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.